Hello YouTube, MM555NC, coming at you with a short 6 peel bass station amplifier, 10 meter amplifier, 6 peel with a driver, with a MOSFET driver. Uh, I had the, uh, of course I bought the uh, MOSFET board and uh, I purchased the... Uh, six peel uh board from a good friend goes by gatekeeper and he did a fantastic job on it and got total respect for gatekeeper and uh hope everybody else does too i uh, he done a good job for me and uh y'all check it out and uh what i'm gonna explain a few things uh then i'll show you i'll show you uh uh, output test. I'm going to show you the inside. Right here I got power on off for the power supplies. I got four, uh, three 40 amp power supplies. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, let's go ahead and turn it on. That's your 6 peel orange LED on off. Your MOSFET green on off high low I haven't put no labels on there. I might not. I'm going to keep this. This is mine. Unless I get mad with it, then I'll sell it. Let somebody else worry about it. <laughs> but it's right now. But I hadn't even used it yet, really. I've uh, done a couple tests. Uh, talked a little bit of DX on it. Not too much. Uh, uh, but uh, it, but it's doing real well. But I'm going to show you. Uh, let's go look at the... Uh, let's cut the back of it. Let's cut it off. And when I test, I'm going to test it on a 500 watt slug. And I got a 5,000 up there, and this thing's run through a bunch of stuff. And uh, I'm not really crazy about my input right now. My, my MOSFET ain't working just right. But uh, but I, but the peak on that, I got an aftermarket peak, and I don't like it. But I'll show you what it's doing anyway. I'm going to show you uh, RMS on a 500 watt slug. And uh, let's see the back of it real quick. I'll finish that sentence. Breaker right there, 20 amp breaker, strain relief on a good side. I got 12, a two wire on the plug. Got a, there's your input. There's your input, I mean, there's your output. There's uh, my uh, wires for the voltmeter. I run an external voltmeter. I don't like cutting holes in everything. No more than I have to. I always, I, always, uh, I can't drill a hole. Uh, a drill two or three holes. You probably, probably can't tell it, but all of them is crooked. <laughs> but that's, it's not that bad. But I'm not. I don't like. I'm not crazy about cutting square holes in front of these things. And the RF messes with them a little bit. Which somebody say, well, you can do this, do that to get. Ah, yeah, they don't matter. I, I do it like I want to do it. I got the RF, uh, the, the uh, voltmeter is external, and I don't have it plugged up. It's up under the table over there, so I'm not going. Show you volts, but it's doing uh, power supplies are set at 16, uh, 16.1, and it drops down. To, uh, when I'm running it wide open, it drops down around 15.8. I'm drawing about 80 amps up or thereabouts. Uh, uh, I got three 40 amp supplies in there, which is plenty of, plenty of room. Uh, anyway, it's good to give a quick test. I'll pop the top. I hope the audio works on this, so I don't have to do it. So I, if I do it again, I'm going to do it on my phone. And then it's going to have that little square up there. But uh, there you go. Six pill on, driver on, on low. Got a 500 right there on the input. That's what you're going to be looking at, RMS. I'll turn this on just for the fun of it. Uh, that's 5,000, both, you'd be looking in the center on both of them. Thou, this is 5,000, uh, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. 500, RMS, no peak, no peak on this side, peaks on this side. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. Okay, on a 2980, going in through a dummy load, dummy uh, cantina under the table. I'm not gonna get up under the table, show you, but just trust me. This one time. Okay. 
that thing jump over there. Okay, RMS. Audio. Turn my mic gain up. I have my mic gain down. Audio. Hello, one, two, three, four. Oh yeah. See what happens. Jacks it all the way uh, to the to the corner there. Talking one, two, three. Audio, hello. Little over 100 watt dead key. Talking into it. One, two, three. Audio. Oh. Let's check out the uh, check out the peak, which I don't trust. Aftermarket PP uh, on 5,000 slug. Audio. Audio. Showing 1900, which I don't, I don't trust that. But uh, this is where all the money's at on this side right here. 100 watt. Audio one two audio. Audio. That's on dummy load. It's gonna get a little. It's gonna get a little bit better. Once you get it on the antenna, on the on the uh, different antennas, but uh. Hello one two three. Audio. Probably around 600, 700. Uh, that's a regular radio. Uh, not a super tuned radio, but it's it does pretty good. But I got a, a little better radio, which I want to get some better watts out of. My voltage, uh, I didn't want to overvote it. I think I'm dropping down to 15.8, which some people might think on HG2879 might be a little too much. We'll find out. I got another 6 PO. I got two or three amps with HGs and and had no issues too much uh, on uh, any of the HGs, but uh, enough with the jibber jabber. Let me try to get this top off without getting uh, that wire back there on the uh, ground on the case would get me a good shock. There we go. Maybe it won't fall. There's my 120 volt thermal cool fans breaker. There's your six peel, looking good. Had to move that uh, relay over. It was uh, over toward the center of the board here, so I moved it over in between the connectors. Got uh, I mean it's looking pretty good. Got a little doorknob back there on the ground to cut the output, and. Uh, Looking pretty good, man. I like I like the way this thing was put together. He done a really good job on this. Appreciate it, gatekeeper. Put a driver in there. I was gonna put a driver in there. Decided not to. I wanted to use some MOSFET driver. I wasn't crazy. I uh, don't don't like. Uh, I figured one might not be enough, and two be too much. So anyway, so I just decided not to do that. So I got an extra got an extra transistor right there if I need it later on. Which hopefully I don't. I mean, everything's looking good. I all this is me. I've done all the uh, wiring and all that. You can tell because uh, this uh, wires everywhere. <laughs> I mounted it in the case. Uh, Mr. Gatekeeper built the board for me and sent it in the raw form with nothing, no connectors or nothing on it. No uh, way he did send me the power wire. But uh, here's my uh, three uh, th uh, forty amp. Uh, uh, power supplies got good airflow coming in right there and I uh, got got uh, plexiglass that's not that's uh see right there that's plexiglass so it got it got it blocked off back there where I got all my airs flowing uh, flowing right through this thing out the back there's your end I got everything blocked off down there plexiglass on the side ah uh, Anyway, check it out. There's your switches, your main switch, and your little toggles for your uh, for your uh, six pill. Oh, 
Oh well, I don't know what else to say. But I hope y'all enjoy the two videos. It'd be uh, this will be part two uh, of the of the first video. Is just uh, before I got started on it, I just had everything laying in there. I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, I'm getting a little better at putting these things together. I got my other one. There's my four peel right there with the iron supply in it. And uh, if you hadn't watched that video, go check it out. That's my main my main uh, driver box, so that's what I like to use. But this was uh, it'd be sort of like a backup, and uh, I mean it does a lot of wattage. This thing is really strong. Uh, once I get it all uh, set up and everything, I'm in the, still in the testing phase. I got I might have to mess with the input a little bit because I added that MOSFET board, but right now it's doing fine. I mean it's no problems at all with it, and I love it to death. And I hope you like this video. If you, if it worked out, if it didn't work out, you will never see it. But I'll catch y'all later. MM five 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 NC. I'm.